you've been out walking and you've done your grocery shopping, you just don't feel like going home, <laughs> take a ride in the countryside. <laughs> we used to run these roads uh, when I was back in high school. This will lead me out to the reservoir, our town reservoir. We used to take a cat out there. We had this cat named Custard. My daughter's cat. She named it Custard after strawberry shortcakes, Custard. And that cat went fishing with us out here. And you have to cross this little bridge over the spillway. And the cat, it was so funny, it would lift its paws up when it was crossing over the bridge. <laughs> And then it would just go wander in the woods, you know, and uh, explore. And we would call it when we were ready to leave. Uh, occasionally it would come back to where we were fishing and we'd throw the little tiny, tiny fish on the um, shore and it would eat them. <laughs> it was like a dog. The cat thought it was a dog. <laughs> that, was, that was nice. That was good memories. <laughs> And that cat, I'm pretty sure it went off to die because it disappeared one day. Unless somebody got it and kept it inside because uh, it would have came back home. It was old. Anyways, that cat traveled with us too. That cat went with us to South Carolina and Kansas. And it always, when we were getting ready to leave, and you know, we were packing up the cat new, so it would get in the back window of the car. It would like claim its seat when we were loading up the car. But that cat went everywhere with us, just like a dog. It was too cool. <laughs> Currently petless. I don't have any pets right now. I keep thinking about getting another cat. My cat uh, passed away, but I don't know. I go away a lot. So I don't know. I've been alright with it so far. <laughs> but my uh, youngest granddaughters, Ida and Edith, they Every time they come visit me, where's your cat? Did you get a cat yet, Grandma? <laughs> or Graham, they call me Graham. I get Graham, Mima, and Grandma. <laughs> yeah, they're always asking me, uh, did you get a cat yet? When are you gonna get your cat? I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, girls. <laughs> oh, they're them little like swallows, I didn't see them. They got yellow on their belly. I think, they, oh no, maybe they're not swallows. Maybe they're, I don't know. Some kind of wild birds. <laughs> of course they're wild birds. <laughs> wow, it's been ages since I've been out here. Hit the reservoir, it'll be dirt road. I don't like taking my car on dirt road. I just didn't feel like going back home. <laughs> Such a nice day today. And it's out in the country. to the country, gonna eat a lot of peaches. Country personified. As we don't see any cows 
live but then I wouldn't been able to read the chat again I don't want to do that hey, yeah this just goes back to town darn it I just made a big old loop oh my goodness I wanted to show you guys the reservoir I told you it's been a while <laughs> it's been forever since I've been out that way Yeah, this just made a big loop back in the town. Oh, that's too funny. Hey, Tim. <laughs> oh, well. I must have had to turn onto a dirt road when I went down the... I must have had a GS on the hit. I probably was, was supposed to turn onto a dirt road. <laughs> off on the pavement. <laughs> uh, well, I won't be hitting the dirt today. <laughs> That's what we always call it, hitting the dirt. Go on the dirt road. You go out to what we call the turn. <laughs> Outside of the corporation limits. The cops don't really bother you much anymore, though. They do a lot of, like, give a lot of, like, uh, speeding tickets stuff like that, but they really don't bother you. We used to go out there and smoke. <laughs> yeah, there was a time when I used to smoke. <laughs> don't do that anymore because it, uh, it just makes me feel weird. But I do drink. And I quit smoking cigarettes in the 80s. Then I started smoking again in the 90s when my grandmother passed away. But I, I kicked it again, so. Look, our Dairy Queen has red and blue chairs. <laughs> How cute. Well, heck, I tried to show you guys the reservoir when we took the cat custard fishing. <laughs> Oh, shoot. We'll have to do it next time. There's another way to get to it, too, outside of town, but darn if I don't remember that either. I said that's been back when I was a teenager. And my friend Andrew, his mom, Misty, lives out that way, but I only went out there to her house one time with him. So, and that's been a long time ago, too. Oh, well, look, you can't even see the road. Got you pointing down to a steering wheel. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go home now, put my groceries away. Unless we had a little drive in the country. Okay, guys, I'm going to jump off here now. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Love you guys. Be safe. Bye for now.